kings and queens welcome back to my youtube channel so today i have a few garden chores that i need to do asap such as plant these corn seedlings i have this small container over here so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'll be able to get them all in there if you can't even see my finger right over there that i did not want to put these in because those are so mature and these are just little seedlings and they may you know get shaded out by the mature corn and the green beans that's already in that corn bed so i'm going to see if i can i got three five six seven eight I have eight so I'm gonna see if I can plant all eight in this crate let me show you now mind you I have sweet potato I have one sweet potato vine in that crate so let's see okay so I thought I was recording but I was not recording luckily I wasn't cuz I would have looked crazy um, <laughs> you see uh, it, it's going in now but the worms they dig too oh my gosh they so big you see it right there up oh, it's gone it's gone gone okay so I have this new plant ground cherries I'm going to plant these ground cherries I thought I had a spot for the corn I don't so I have to create a new bed uh, not good not good but I'm happy about these ground cherries I heard so much about them so I'm happy to get these planted so let's begin before we get started I would like to thoroughly water this the soil is dry to the bone so I'm gonna thoroughly water it then plant it okay okay a, okay, so we just want to give this a deep water. Let me change the setting on this. Uh, oh, that setting right there. Okay. Let's give this a deep water. Now, I don't know if the foliage should be wet, but it's so dry. Okay, that should be good. Now normally, normally I like to um, transplant when the plant is dry, but this plant, it, the bed already is full of moisture, which is why I always have mushrooms springing up and all over the place. So I just like to water thoroughly before I actually place the plant in the garden. Okay, so let's go to the garden now. Hi, Miss Dow. <laughs> Got my son's bike propping up <laughs> the door. Okay. So we just gonna plant this here. Where is my gloves? My gloves. Okay. Hold on. Hopefully you can get a up front and close in person shot of exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just adding some plant tone right now to the raised bed. It hasn't been fertilized since <laughs> I don't even want to tell you. <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me. It been hot and then rainy and then cold and then rainy. So, all right. Oh, that smells bad. And you just want to, you know, mix that fertilizer around with the soil so you don't burn your roots. 
Look at this. I just like to squeeze the container and the plant starts to sh shimmy its way out. Well, not this one. Look at the roots. It's coming all from out of the, the hole. Okay, so it's going to be a, a process. But it's coming. You got to have patience in the garden. So that just came right off. Nothing you can do about it. And I'm not going to cry about it. <laughs> okay, because it's plenty of roots for this plant to bounce back. Do I want it that way? Or do I want it this way? I think I want it this way. Okay, so now I'm just going to backfill it in. Here's the sign pineapple ground cherries so we just gonna put that there so we know what it is that we have here and I'm going to get some soil put this back and then I'll be back soil and compost and manure and fertilizer already mixed in my garden cart so I just went and just grabbed the scoop And you don't want to pack it down, make it compact. You don't want to do that. But you want to make sure you get the air from in between the two, the plant and the soil. And just gently give it a, a push pat down and then I'll come in tomorrow <laughs> I got stuff to do right now I only had a little bit of time for the garden so I'll come in tomorrow and clip away all that needs to be clipped and we're just going to put we um, backfill it again with the straw mulch. There we have it now I have this sprayer I should yes I can take the the dirt off of I probably can clip I probably sh I'm a I'm a trim this I'm a trim this cuz better to be safe than sorry so let me grab my scissors or my garden shears and I'll be back grab this grew this before like I said but um, I don't know the first thing about this cherry this brown cherry let's do that one and let's do this one Normally, I say do some research before you buy your um your plant, but 
I wanted to try it. I wanted to taste it. I wanted to taste it so bad. So I just bought it. So I will do my research to figure out how to care for it. But <laughs> you care for one, you care for them all. Okay? That's how I see it. I'm not going to be intimidated by no plant in the garden. Alright, you guys. And that's it.